Welcome back to another episode of Paint with Michelle. This month's painting is inspired by the Egyptian god Bastet and ancient hieroglyphics and is titled Gods of Egypt, Bastet. While you can paint this with regular acrylic paint, most of the colors used in this episode have a metallic base. We will also be showing you techniques on aging and weathering your painting. Before we get started, let's learn a little bit about this month's subject inspiration from the time of ancient Egypt. The history of ancient Egypt is divided into three main periods, the Old Kingdom from about 2700 to 2200 BCE, the Middle Kingdom, which was around 2050 to 1800 BCE, and the New Kingdom from about 1550 to 1100 BCE. Ancient Egyptians produced art to serve functional purposes that was filled with religion and ideology. To capture a subject in art was to give it permanence. Therefore, ancient Egyptian art was portrayed in an idealized and unrealistic view of the world. Art from ancient Egypt included paintings, sculptures, drawings on papyrus, jewelry, ivories, architecture, and other art media. It was also very conservative, and the art style changed very little over time. Paints were obtained from minerals such as iron ores, copper ores, soot or charcoal, and limestone. Their religion was populated by gods who had supernatural powers and were called on for help or protection. These gods were often found in hieroglyphs which were a formal writing system used by ancient Egyptians. Hieroglyphs combined several language and letter elements, with some 1,000 distinct characters. Hieroglyphs consist of three kinds of glyphs. Phonetic glyphs, including single consonant characters that function like an alphabet, logographs, representing a full word or phrase, and determinatives, which narrow down the meaning of logographic or phonetic words. Ancient Egyptians called hieroglyphs the words of God and were used mainly by the priests. Hieroglyphs are written in rows or columns and can be read from left to right or from right to left. You can distinguish the direction in which the text is to be read because the human or animal figures always face towards the beginning of the line. Our Egyptian god we are depicting this month is the goddess, Bastet. Bastet was the goddess of the home, domesticity, women's secrets, cats, fertility, childbirth, and the bringer of good health. She had the head of a lion, or more often a cat, and a slender female body. Bastet was the daughter of Ra, sister of Sekhmet, the wife of Ptah, and the mother of Mihos. Bastet is still worshipped today, and her protection is believed by some to be cast over modern cats. Bastet's name is translated to she of the ointment jar. For this reason, she was often depicted bearing a jar adorned with cats. Bastet was easily identifiable in hieroglyphics as the cat-headed woman. Bastet was a significant deity from a very early period in Egyptian history. At the valley temple of Khafre at Giza, she and Hathor were the only gods whose names were recorded. Bastet has appeared frequently in popular culture. There have been several incarnations of the goddess in Marvel and DC Comics. She has also appeared in cartoons, like Mummies Alive, as statues in the 1999 film The Mummy, and as a playable character in Overwatch. Neil Gaiman referenced the goddess in several of his works, including American Gods and the comic series The Sandman. You can find more information on Bastet on Mythopedia.com. For today's painting, we recommend downloading and printing out our coloring page as a reference for the painting. The link is provided below. To get started, we have printed the coloring page and enlarged it to fit our 12 by 12 inch canvas. Then, use a pencil to shade the back to trace the design onto the canvas. Once transferred, use a grey or black sharpie to darken the lines. We've added more shapes to fill in the canvas and cracks to help with the aging look. With the canvas prepped, gather your supplies. We recommend using acrylic paint, including several shades of gold, 
as this element was popular in a lot of Egyptian art. In this video, we have several metallic shades, shades of brown, white and black. As a special touch, we will be adding gold foil to some areas of the design. You will also need paper towels, water, brushes, a sponge, and a plastic bag. As usual, we will gesso the canvas. Next, mix a dark cream color and cover the entire canvas. You should still be able to see the design through the paint. Next, use a reddish brown paint and bunch up the plastic bag. Tap the bag lightly into the paint and then tap the paint on the canvas with the bag. This will give the canvas an ancient stone-like appearance. After you are done, start filling in the designs on your canvas with the colors of your choice. It's okay for the paint to be streaky, this will help with the aging look. Make sure you use gold often for accenting shapes. For the cracks, use a tan paint for the base, and use lighter and darker shades to outline the cracks and make them more realistic. For our Bastet cat, use a very dark grey to fill in the body, using plain black as an outline. The necklace and wings will be painted in several shades of gold and the gem with emerald green. Next, fill in the cartouche, or oval, with gold paint along with the inside of the flower designs. Use a dark brown to paint the hieroglyphs that spell out Bastet's name. Continue to fill in the flowers with other colors. When working the bottom of the painting, it is easier to turn it upside down. You can research ancient Egyptian wall art to see what colors and patterns were used in traditional murals found in the pyramids. Once the canvas is filled in, take time to work on your cracks and other details. This is where you can add gold foil to the cartouche and Bastet's necklace and wings. When you are finished, Take the sponge or plastic bag, and tap it into your cream base paint and tap it all over the canvas, especially over the icons. By doing this, it will give the appearance that the paint has worn off over time. Once done, remember to include your artist's signature. You will have a museum quality painting ready to hang on your walls at home. We hope you enjoyed this month's episode of Paint with Michelle. We'll see you next month for our final painting of the Cool Cats and Kittens series and our last painting for the year.